Botswana has the biggest bulls in, in Africa and it's just genetics and, and habitat produces those, those big bodies and I shot one a couple years ago that was over 88 inches long. We decided to concentrate down in the south um, as most of the big bull tracks were down here it seemed. And having spent the last uh, three months hunting the area, we're in the middle of the season now, it's July, I really kind of knew what was around and we saw some dust in the distance. That morning we drove around and, and, and spotted the first elephant and when we saw that elephant, uh, we saw two bull elephants and, and one of them was, was just gigantic and it was too far to tell if he was a, um, an elephant that we would go after and hunt. So we got out, everyone got out, got everything ready. One thing I'm just going to tell you is if he charges and we have to shoot him, it's, it's your elephant. God, that's fun. So we don't want to give it charges, I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> An elephant, you know, it's a dangerous game. I mean, things can happen. People can get killed. Um, Jeff takes his job and keeps the safety. I mean, deadly serious. He is serious about it. And we get out here, you know, he wants you to have a good time and enjoy the hunt, but at the same time, he wants you to be safe, focused, you know. It's all business once you get out of the truck. There's no joking around. Oh, we just been driving around a little bit and spotted our first elephant of the day. It was a little irksome knowing that, you know, anywhere in that thick brush in front of you, there was, you know, six tons of animal just waiting to come at you. And surprisingly, they're very difficult to see. As big as they are, I mean, we were like right up on one before I even really saw that it was the elephant, you know, we were going after. old bull kind of stood there he was facing us a little bit of a quartering angle gave her an opportunity to look at the ear hole uh, where to shoot on the front of the forehead in case there's a frontal brain shot Getting that close, Jeff had realized he wasn't an animal that we were going to take, but it, he still wanted Robin to have some practice at getting the gun up on the elephant and getting comfortable being that close to an elephant. It was it was really good experience, and, and it made you feel so small. Yeah, we got in quietly, didn't disturb the bulls. Yeah. That's what you want to do is just get in close, have a look. You know where. You know what I said to you before we left is. You know, by law you're allowed to defend yourself, you know, um, against dangerous animals, but in, when you're hunting them, they take it as a different application. So if you're approaching a big bull with the intent to hunt it and he charges, 
it's, a, it's it. a fine line, you know, whether you can say, well, uh, you know, it was threatening my life and I, I don't, I'm not going to take it as a trophy, so I just wanted to make you aware of so what if So what if that situation went down and I shot that one? And what if something, the other one came at us? Well, that's, then it's, I mean, then I would do the shoot, okay. not you, though. Okay. So that's the difference. Okay. Because if you shoot, it's your, your tag. <laughs> so. They're big. I was in awe. That was the first elephant I'd seen come up on. And I, I remember a lot of thoughts going through my mind, like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm in the middle of Africa walking up on this giant animal. I mean, it got me excited, the blood pumping, and I was ready to go look for the next one. That was so cool. It's been a thrilling dress rehearsal. Now Robin is ready to find the big bull she has come to Botswana for. And Jeff Ran knows where to look. It was a nice bull seeing it like that. And, uh, getting up on him and, and getting in close and kind of getting the idea of what, you know, every, yeah, yeah, exactly how big they are and, and ex just experience that adrenaline and trying. I mean, you obviously want to be excited, but you got to control it too, you know, if, you, if it's one we're going to take, we're going to, need to do everything right. You see there's a big bull here walking down the road. It might be him there. See him? Just see their backs here. It's a three young bulls. One looks like he's got one tusk and one on the right. I think there's four. There's another one to the right. Let's go take a look. The wind's good. I can't see that fourth one, so we'll see what he looks like. Didn't really get a good look at their ivories yet, but uh, body size, you know, he thought it was something worth going after, so uh, that would go for it. Let's get in and have a look. Let's go real quiet. Trying to be stealthy through the African wild right now is a little difficult. It's dry. There's probably like four layers of dead leaves, dried grass, branches, um, thick brush. It's, it's definitely difficult to try to keep the noise level down. At this point in the hunt, you know, when we're getting up close and personal with these elephants, it's it's pretty much Jeff and me. Even Will, you know, my husband with the backup gun, you know, he steps back a few paces, so it's just Jeff and I out in the lead, you know, trying to work our way up to this elephant, hoping he'll give us the opportunity to take a shot. I didn't get a really good look at him, but he's got good length. I don't know how thick he is. Little did I know, but at this time of the year, the bulls are separated from the, the cows and the calves. So, to my surprise, we were surrounded by five bulls. You know, at any moment they can turn on you or whatever. If you see something, he may start coming towards you, so then we'll just set the sticks up and just wait until I take a shoot. I might shoot not sticks up right now. It's up to you. How do you want to do it? I thought I heard pretty good. Okay. I know it's the first day, but that's just, that's a good point. Right. Jeff put the binos up and had a look at him. You know, he turned around and gave us like the whole. You know, I know it's the first day of the hunt, but you know, this is a bull. Um, you know, that I wouldn't pass up. He, his thing is, you know, you don't pass up something on the first day that you shoot on the last. I don't think we're gonna see better. I mean, I think we should shoot him. The wind's really bad. They, they're aware of us now. They know we're here. Let's just go around. Just gotta be quiet. You know, one of the th things I really try and do and impress upon everybody is, as quiet as you are going in, you really want to be just as quiet going out. Jeff doesn't want you know, any of these animals to become you know, used to being around people. So if you get in really close and it's not, it's not an opportunity to take a shot, backing out of the situation is, is, is you're trying to be just as quiet and stealthy as going in on, the, on, on the, trying to get a shot. Above the bush there. 
definitely more than three or four now. Let's see if we can get around on getting close. When you're getting in this close, it kind of turns into a cat and mouse game. You sneak up on them, you're dealing with the wind, you're dealing with, you know, five elephants. He's heard something, he's coming. We had bulls on the right and bulls on the left with the one we wanted to shoot in front of us. And they're, you know, 13 feet at the shoulder, and they're, it's intimidating. Of course you're going to have thoughts come in your mind like, what if I do get trampled by this elephant or something that comes out of the bushes that you didn't see? You know, I got young kids, you know, I got young kids back at camp. Do they want to see their mom out here trampled by an elephant? As we're walking to them, you know, the sun's setting. You know, as the sun gets lower, it just seems like it's going to start disappearing real quick. time of day was a concern. You know, don't want to get down to the last five, 10 minutes of light and then take a shot and, and have something happen. At that stage, I'd rather just take one more time, one more attempt. If we didn't get in, we're just gonna back out of there quietly. Sun was going down and we're gonna come back tomorrow and pick up his tracks. As we came around that, that last bush, we were in 20 yards. The bull was facing away from us. I said, he's gonna hear something, he's gonna suspect something, sense something, he's gonna whip around, and you're gonna have that frontal brain shut. Get up on him. When he turns, I want you to take him. And it was time, you know, he said when that elephant turns, he's like, shoot him. Okay. Reload, reload, reload. Come, come, come. She was on that second trigger. As that bull turned, she hit him in the in the neck and dropped him straight away. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good hunt. Eh? Good job. Thanks. Sir. You know, I'm not the only one with the excitement. You know, I was the one jumping around, but everybody's congratulating me, hugging me. You know, the game scout, OT Shadow. I mean, they were excited. Everybody was pumped for me. You know, everybody was super excited for me, and uh, it was just such a, a neat moment. Oh. to fire when she needed to fire, to reload when she needed to reload. When Jeff told her to move up, she moved up. And it was it was neat to see. And until you're in that situation, all the books and all the TV shows you watch, they mean nothing until you see how you react in the situation, because all that goes out the door when you've got a 12,000 pound animal looking at you at 20 yards and he's, and he's aggressive. He's a big, big boy. He's got a big head and he's, he carries the weight. Honestly. The only bad thing was it was the first day of the hunt. <laughs> but, I always I say, I... always tell everybody, never pass up a bull on the first day that you're going to shoot on the last day. It had it all, you know, the bull had good length and, and good thickness. He's a big old bull, um, very big head on him, so he's going to have 27, 28 inches of ivory inside the skull. And he had 44 inches sticking out, so he's going to have six foot of ivory. It means a lot to have you guys here with me on this big day. I think you remember this for a long time? Yeah. I will. I'll remember this forever. It was exciting. It's a memory I always have and I hope my children always 
can carry this memory with them and pass it on to them, you know, coming up with mom to her elephant. It made it more special that I could have my whole family here and not, you know, just me, myself.